All right, so this next topic is check your homeboys. And I see this a lot. A lot of women would, um, you know, we'll, we'll see a post of some man being super dusty or just being being toxic all around. And so women will say, you know, fellas, check your homeboys. And I understand that because in the same sense as, you know, uh, if we bring race into it to understand the intersectionality of it, um, us black folks, we expect uh, our cool comrade white folks to check the racist white folks on on being racist. We, we do expect that. And we definitely do want that. Um, it was only when uh, I kept hearing check your homeboys, check your homeboys that I kind of understand like why that might be difficult. Now, it is true. If I have homeboys or if I have a close circle of friends and some of them being toxic, then yeah, we call it out. And what ladies don't understand is that us men, we definitely call out men all the time about some bullshit. Now, there are a pool of people that just sit in a circle jerk and condone toxic behavior. Those people are beyond our hell. We can't do nothing with that no more. Those are the people that will get clowned in the barbershop. So when those people come around, us decent folk, man, they get clowned in the barbershop. We talk about them. We talk about that behavior. We definitely check those people. They aren't our homeboys, though. And at once you... It, as you're a man and you're working, you're doing your thing, you kind of like, you know, the more mature, the older you grow, you're, that circle gets smaller of friends. Like, there's people I don't talk to as much as I used to 10 years ago, but that's just because we, you know, grew apart or for whatever reason. And uh, there also might have been times where, you know, back in the day, some friends might have outgrown me because I was holding them back. And then, uh, so it, it's all it's all about growth and so when women say check your homeboys honestly the people i'm close like the people that a lot of us good men are uh close with we don't have any shenanigans or dusty characters or we don't deal with certain people you know once we like once once you become once you like work hard you don't hang around with people that don't work hard once you have like a certain ethics or codes, we don't hang around people that don't share those same ethics and codes. Now, it's not like women, because I know some women will have like, women will have like a group of women and then they'll have that one fat friend that they still tell them is nice. Women will also have that like kind of, that out there, that super promiscuous friend, then they'll have the nerd in the group, then the, like, men really don't have that, usually all the nerds stick together, all the promiscuous men stick together, all of the the you know, athletic men kind of stick together, people kind of stick together uh, based off like what they like to do with their niches, only women have like this wide circle of friends and they, they have toxic people within that, but us men, we don't have toxic men in our circle. That that's, that's, that sounds way too stressful. I would definitely refuse. I, you know, I would not have no toxic man in my circle or no man that's not contributing nothing or that's going to drain me or, drain, or bring me down. So when women say check your homeboys... We check the strangers if we if we just so happen to come across toxicity, we will check that. But a lot of times, it's just we we're not around it, and we could do it online. We could check homeboys online, but a lot of us we really don't be online that often or that much, or just take too much energy. And that's that's not the right way to go about things. You cannot we cannot change perspectives online because online is driven by negativity positive stuff always gets swept under the rug so we really can't um it, it, we can we we try and we do but it's 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 really not that um it's really not that effective doing it online it just takes in-person action or for us to just shun them and then once they get shunned then they'll realize that their their actions cause them to be shunned and um and then yeah and also y'all women gotta huddle up and stop 
giving these men access to you because for all these check your homeboys or these toxic men over here, we can check them all we want, but if if half of y'all are still fucking them, then it ain't nothing we could, it ain't nothing, they ain't gonna listen to us if y'all still giving them up that piece.